Hi, thank you very much for turning back in. My name is Fonny. In my channel, I talk about my houseplant and my hoyas. Today, it is the second episode of the plant unboxing series that I would like to do before I deliver. So, um, as you have seen the first episode, if you have not, you can click that link. Um, so then it will direct you through the previous one, plants.com. And for today's video, I am going to share with you my experience with Aqua Genera. Right, just like the previous video, the structure of this series would be related to five different areas. I tell you about the background, how did I found them, what is the communication between me and the salesperson or the customer service. Thirdly, how long does it take for them to ship? Fourthly, how do they package? Lastly is the quality. I will also show you what they advertised compared to what the quality ended up as. So then you will have this overall um, information from my experience. So you make your own judgment and uh, you tell me um, if you have experience with them or you let me know if you would also want to purchase from them. Again, I would like to make sure that I clarify this one. None of these um, online shopping for plants are sponsored. Again, let me know if you would like to sponsor me and then I can showcase your plant. But all of these plants I purchased from my own money. So all of these um, comment and feedback that I have is definitely um, objective because nobody pays me anything. And even if they do, I'll just tell you what it is because I have, um, I, I like to see people's honest feedback. And I also want to see how people um, expect and how it turns out to be because that's the one of the fun parts about buying plants online. So for Aqua Genera, I remember the first time I heard from them is definitely from the COVID time. A lot of the US plant uh, YouTubers or from Canada, they have um, Aqua Genera kind of connection. I think they have a particular store in the US. I saw a lot of people unboxing Aqua Genera's uh, plant in the US and I know that many of them actually ship directly from Aquador so it is uh, import. However, what I know about Aqua Genera in Europe is that there is a German uh, huge plant nursery. They have uh, switched uh, ownership, I think, um, to Aqua Genera. Uh, that probably is several years ago because I remember that particular German nursery store. I didn't purchase any plants from them. I purchased clear pots from them. So I know that company um, back um, maybe two, three years ago. But I also noted that they changed their website into Aqua Genera. And at that time, I wonder, hmm, do they also sell plants? But obviously, again, the same as the previous video, because of COVID time, I can't travel out and there's no way for them to ship into Norway. So I just need to wait until I can uh, travel freely. And then I can bring the plants back to my home. So of, of that being said, there is an Aqua Genera Europe store now located in Germany. And as far as I understand, the plants are also imported from Ecuador. However, because it is a nursery, um, they probably have the seedling or they have the smaller plants and then they ship it uh, from Ecuador and then they acclimate it in Europe, which is absolutely fantastic because that means you don't really have to worry about the acclimation and also the huge shock between the environment they provide uh, the plants, which is possibly perfect in Ecuador compared to European environment. And again, it's not one thing fits all. In Europe, there are also different countries having different climates that fits plants. Some countries say Italy or Spain, perfect environment, very warm and always really bright sun. Well, most of the time compared to say <laughs> in Scandinavia, definitely that's a, that's a fact uh, to say. But uh, because of that, I'm very excited to try out the plant that I could get from Aquagenaria Europe um, branch. 
Right, then we move on to the communication. I, I think one of the owner in the previous uh, German nursery also work currently in Aquagenaria Europe branch. Lush, I remember that's his name. He is super helpful and he's very kind. Every time when I ask him a question, he always comes back to me within 24 hours. Again, I normally do that through email, but particularly for Aquagenaria Europe store, they also have a number that you can call them. So it is absolutely great. If you're not in a rush, an email normally will be responded within 24 hours. But if you are something super, super urgent, there's also a number that you can call. And that's a really good uh, tips if you wanted to buy from them, because then you can actually know that there's a person that you can talk to. And most of the time that I have spoken with is Lush. And you also see him on some of the live sales uh, from the Europe store of Aquagenera. In that communication, I said it's really, really good because I need to travel uh, to an EU country in order to pick up the plant. So I need to really time the plant uh, delivery uh, accurately. So then the plant won't end up being either stuck in a place for a very long time or I just missed the delivery when I had booked my ticket to go there. So in that perspective, communication is great. Then we move on to shipping. Shipping is fantastic because they are very, very flexible, even though they say that normally they ship things on a Monday, but because of my special request that I need to make sure that they deliver the plant on time. So then I could make sure that at the time when I travel out, um, the plant is already there for me to pick up. The total uh, shipping time only took them three to four days to deliver from their nursery to the picker point. But again, it takes me two more days to arrive at the place to unbox it. So I would say in total, um, the unboxing time would be five to six days, which generally it's around the time that you will receive your plants anyways, if you just place an order and then sometime they have some delay. I, say, I would say five to six days is fair. And then we move on to the packaging. This one here is the first one, Philodendron Leimaniae. It looks like it has white, some leaf. Let's open it. The packaging is really nice because first of all, it has this kind of cotton and it wrapped the whole plant. And even though this one has been in the box for quite a while, you can see that the leaves are very fresh. I'll give you a close up on the side. And the size is not very big. I thought, I hope it, it's gonna be slightly bigger, but um, all of the leaves are super healthy. And the way that they wrap this one is also very nice. And with regard to the way that it's growing, it started vertical and then now it's like more horizontal. And then the new leaf has maybe a bit of damage because the new leaf, as you can see over here, but uh, yeah, it looks really nice. This one over here is the first Anthurium I ever ordered and ever owned. Let's hope it turned out healthy. So this one is Anthurium N something GG. And the reason why I really like it is because of the video Charmaine has shown. Um, and also particularly I saw the mature plant that she has taken a picture in North Shore Tropical. The packaging again is very good because these cardboard actually is very stiff and when you roll it together it, it's very hard to press against so that protects the plant very very well and okay and it is also the same um, way of packaging they have this fluff which is super good oh wow this is impressive this is much larger than I thought and the new leaf is super glossy and it's also very healthy as well the entire thing looks pretty impressive and leaves are very healthy as well 
And the way that they package it is also very sturdy, as you can see. This one is Anthurium, my second Anthurium I've ever owned. It is Anthurium Luxurious. Packaging, fantastic. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna unwrap these ones. Wow. This looks very pretty. This one is the size medium. Um, and this looks very nice. I think it is slightly smaller than what I have seen people unboxing as a medium size, but the quality is just incredible. And it is very leathery leave, and I am very happy about this one. It's really, really nice. And again, the packaging is good. One thing that I would like to add is that you can see that the packaging is very, very sturdy, apart from the cardboard that avoided um, a lot of the damage due to pressure from the top. This is also super good packaging. It's very simple as well. Like you have this plastic bag and then you have the tissue um, on top of the soil and then after that you wrap it with um, just one piece of plastic tape and this completely secure the plant not just about um, the soil not getting out from the pot and potentially that would um, damage the leaf it also stabilized the stem and you can see that it is very, very good. And also for the soil and the bottom, everything is captured in the best way. So I really think that the packaging is genius. It, of course, these are plastic, but the way that it secured everything is very simple and fast. And in Norway, there's plastic recycle. Well, thank you very much to stay until now. This is a definitely successful unboxing that I would love to share with everybody. And I have this one uh, right next to me. It, it is a very large plant. And you would like to know how long does this take uh, to look like this? Well, it's just basically two days after I have unboxed it. So it is not um, acclimated at all, I would say. It is basically just unboxed um, for two days and this is how it looks like and the quality is top notch there's no particular damage that you could see even though it took me some time to actually unbox it um, and the shipping is super quick and you can see that the new leaf over here nigronamium gg even the newest leaf it's super super healthy and glossy um, the good thing, uh, just a background, is that now in Norway it is very humid because it's raining a lot. So I think it's a perfect weather to actually acclimate the plant because I don't really have a plant room. Uh, well, my living room is a plant room to begin with, but I don't have um, like a grow tent or anything. So I, I normally don't do anything special when it comes to acclimating um, a potted plant because a potted plant is supposed to be acclimated to European um, general um, climates anyways. So as you can see here, this one, um, let's talk a little bit about how they advertised it. I thought it's going to be slightly bigger. It's not very big. You can see this is my hand. I would say this one, it's around um, maybe 25 centimeters large, and this is the largest leaf and with regard to how they advertised it it's slightly difficult um i would say for aquagenera's um pictures online because they have this mature form that it will turn out and then you just kind of need to get it to see how it ended up look like but this one though nigrolaminum gg this is very big compared to what i thought First of all, I thought it's only going to have three leaves, but it turns out it has one, two, three, four, five, six, six leaves. And that is definitely um, a surprise. And as you can see, this one, it already has a new growth point coming out from that place. I don't know. Tell me what do you think? Because it seems like there is one 
hidden over there. And there is another one. You can see that there's a tip there. You can see that. There is also another growth point. Doesn't mean that there is going to be two leaves at the same time. This, again, as I mentioned, it is the first time for me to have Anthurium in my collection, and I don't really know how Anthurium grows. I just feel that the leaf is very thick. Um, because of that, I don't think I need to particularly baby them. And with regard to the um, growth pattern. It is fantastic. It's super compact as you can see over here and uh, again in the adver advertised website it shows two or three leaves and I also looked at one of the comments someone said that it's around 40 centimeters that they get and I think this is definitely true. This is 40 meters and is also having very very nice vein as you can see here. So in that perspective uh, this exceeded my expectation because I did not expect it to be this large when it comes to the comparison between the pictures I get um, on Aquagenera. And then the last one, I'm just going to put this down. The last one over here. This one is the very, very famous Anthurium Luxuriance. I almost feel like this Anthurium is more popular than the Ethereum Queen and Ethereum King. Because everybody is talking about how crazy the texture is for this leaf. And now I understand because it is true. It almost feels like a reptile. And it is very thick. And because of that, I am trying not to put it into any particular um, box to increase the humidity. But as I mentioned, currently because it's raining a lot, the humidity it's around 70 5% in my living room. I just need to acclimate this one in a way that I don't move it and I don't do anything with it and so then it could acclimate to my room environment. But let's talk about um, the quality. Again, the quality is very, very good. You can see that there is barely any damages. Maybe there is a yellow part here, probably because of shipping. Just teeny tiny bit. And if you look into the growth tip, it is super compact. And also there is already a new growth point over there. And with regard to the root, if you could see, you probably can't, but let me try. Some of the roots already kind of showed up. Mm, can you see it? Probably. I'll, I'll try to take a picture so then you can see that uh, root looks super healthy. And what I really like about these two and Ethereum that I got is they are just looks and feels very tough. So hopefully I don't have to baby them. Um, well, cause I really don't have that time. <laughs> and I just think that it is the best way to not baby them so then they could live in the normal environment and that's what I will give them. So I guess they just need to adapt to the environment that I provide them. I'll let you know how it goes in one month time. So yeah. And with regard to the size comparison, I have mentioned that uh, during my unboxing, it is slightly smaller than I thought because I remember I saw this video, the size of a medium looks perhaps 50% larger than this one. And you can see that this is probably around 20, yeah, around 20 centimeters large for the largest leaf over here. Um, I also heard that for luxuriance, it grows very, very slow. In that perspective, the larger that you get, the less time that you need to get larger leaves. Well, all in all, I am very happy with all of the purchases that I have this time with Aquagenera Europe branch. And let me know in the comment box down below, what are your experience over this particular branch? How do you find it different? from buying from um, a store that they have either in the US or in Europe compared to importing directly from Ecuador. Yeah, if you like this type of video and you don't want to miss out next time when I have the third episode talking about my third experience with a 
new plant store that I purchased from. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends so if they are interested to buy some plants in different plant store they will at least have an idea. What are the options? Thank you very much. I hope you a really, really nice day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.